and welcome to the first installment of my level up series which is going to be a series focusing on content creation we're going to talk about personal branding and visual identity before we jump right in into what we can do to have a bit of personal branding and visual identity we have to know what they mean right so first we have personal branding which is all about how you choose to brand yourself or your company um, which could be a theme, a colour, anything that matches you know, what you want the company or you to represent. A visual identity is very similar and it's just the idea of what makes you or the company you. You know, what can be brought together to become the visual accompaniment to all of the content you're going to be creating. Making content has two different options. You can make your company and branding very personal to you and connected to you, or you can separate it, which can be helpful if you're doing it on the side or if you're making branding for somebody else. What's the most important thing is that the key values of the company and yourself shine through the content and through your branding. And by doing that, your uniqueness and what else you can bring to the table, which is new, will shine through as well. We Now we need to talk about unique selling points, USPs, things that are only things you can do. So this might be your personality. This might be a, a new idea you have for a project or a video series that no one else has thought of yet. You can actually show these unique selling points through your branding. You know, you can make a logo that matches it. You can have icons that match it. All of these things make up USPs. But we can have a formula to help work through this. So firstly, we need to work on the colours and the themes. So what colours best represent the look you're going for? If you want some examples of colour theory and how it is seen um, in audience eyes, green is very calming, purple is more of a regal colour, and yellow is energetic. As for themes, these could be key icons or ideas that help match your identity. This could be a particular game, an icon like frogs or food, or even something that matches what you're making, like um, technology related content might have technology related icons and themes. Lastly, your branding needs to stay consistent. You might be making tons of different assets and content, but one key thing should always always bring them together. The text should match, um, so if you have fonts they should join, be similar in family or, or look like they belong together um, and colour palettes are also really important so you should have say six colours that you choose to use for your branding that helps to make more content and more graphics when you need it. All of these things working together will help you to be more recognisable to other people no matter what you're making or no matter where you are on the internet. That's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for listening. If you're still unsure as to what personal branding or visual identity is, I've left some links below to some really great articles that I read. If you're needing some help making some content that could be unique, please do feel free to check out my coffee and other social media and I would be more than happy to help you along in the journey. And um, I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye.